What's up guys, Embers of August here, and I'd like to discuss something that I haven't seen many people talk about since the 3.15 PTU has come online in Star Citizen. Uh, I just want to start off by thanking my buddy Big Bad Chung. Uh, he's the one that troubleshot this with me, and he and I have been uh, having a blast actually with the 3.15 PTU and playing around with the all new 400i. We absolutely love it. Um, but without further interruption, I want to set the stage a bit about why you clicked on this video. The title is self-explanatory, but let me just fanboy for a second here and say that uh, trading in Star Citizen, and by that I don't mean like the commodities or raw materials, but I do mean actual trading between players is like actually my sci-fi dream come true. <laughs> Uh, I know that that's not for everyone, but as a major fan of like Warhammer and Star Wars and pretty much anything with large lumbering hulks of space traders and CD empires, you know, uh, the prospect of setting out as a rogue trader to make your mark amongst stars literally makes my imagination soar when thinking about starships. But sadly, I have not found many ways to satisfy this urge in the sci-fi gaming genre until I started tr uh, started with Star Citizen. And my god, I am really looking forward to a time when I can set out in a Banu Merchantman or a, a Kraken Privateer, you know, and fulfill that fantasy. Um, in the meantime, though, 3.15 has allowed a small, and I do mean small form of actual trading of inventory items between players and org mates. Uh, if you are looking to scratch that fix as a person who constantly picks up items and wants to sell them in future. So for all of you who are longing for the Banu Merchantman or the Cracker Privateer or just generally, generally looking to trade with people in a small way, Big Bad Chung and I have set up a small demonstration of how you could go about doing that. Uh, I'm a very small time YouTuber and just recently got into Twitch streaming, so to support small time channels and give me feedback on my first ever Star Citizen content video, if at any point in this video uh, the video makes you laugh, smile, or you feel that this test is significant in any way, I would really appreciate getting my name out there and sharing this content even if you don't leave a like or subscribe. Um, I just want people to know there's actual inventory trading out there and that their dreams of merchantman and privateer are starting to become reality, you know. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to roll down a clip of Big Bad Chung and I trading inventory items uh, for AUEC on the fly, and I hope you guys all enjoy that. You're right over the other mountain range, I believe. Alright. Oh yeah, I see you. I'll just go ahead and put the landing gear down. Yeah, make sure you have everything that you need on you, um, like guns, ammo, everything you need. Coming into land right now. Perfect. God, I love the 400 eye. I swear to God. Oh, it's great. Oh, uh, I need to find. Uh, I think I need to find a little. Yeah, it's not letting me. Uh... It's not letting me. There we go. Alright. Make sure I have everything. Okay. Oh, there we go. Finally. Alright. I've got everything I need. I do need things. What do you need? I need leg pieces. I need a gun, and I need ammo for that gun. Okay. Yeah, the stuff I have is going to be pretty... Let's see, it's pretty stock option stuff. I mean, it's pretty much backups for what I'm carrying, so I have some gold legs and, and some FS9s and stuff. Is that okay? Ah, 
that's fine. I have a gold helmet. It'll oh, match. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, I tell you what. If I give you, if I give you this stuff, why don't you just pass me like, uh, pass me like, five thousand credits? Yeah, that works. Okay. Not enough SCU. Perfect. I tell you what. Go ahead and come over here onto my ship and I'll uh, I'll give you stuff. Work. Uh, works for me. Perfect. Ramps lowered for you, brother. Sweet. I wonder if I was just flying with that open this whole time. <laughs> Probably. Oh, nice armor, dude. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and close this so I can put the stuff on the ground here. Plus some space. Alright. So you said you need some leggy boys. Otherwise I look like chicken leg man over here. Here's that. Okay, you said you needed a gun, an FS9. Perfect. Dun, dun. Oh, <laughs> that was really strange. I don't know if you saw that, like, gun, like, fell out behind me. Oh, no. Let me just place that. I tell you, I drop it there. You get that. Yep. And you said you needed some ammo too. Yep. All right. There you go. Go ahead and take that. You should be able to equip that on your belt as well. Yep. I just did right away. Perfect. All right, yeah. So I will await your transaction. Five thousand credits coming your way. Perfect. Thanks. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Pull. We just load my fake magazine in here. Another beautiful day on Daymar, dude. So there we have it. Uh, those inventory items went from my ship, where they were being stored in its inventory, into a backpack on my character, into the physical world, and then into the inventory of my buddy Big Bad Chung. Again, these items also persisted with him in his local inventory even after we logged off and back on, so his 5,000 credits were well spent, I'd say. Uh, this is definitely more gameplay, for me, at least in my own eyes, as I roll into 3.15, and this is how I will uh, be playing and I can help people out and start to make a living as a trader even without the merchant man and the privateer. And as I said before, if at any point in this video um, it seemed informative or it gave you out-of-the-box ideas or even if you think someone should see it, please, please, please help out my small channel by getting it out there. I'm not the best person to showcase this, but I am getting uh, in there and doing my best with what I know so far. Thank you all for viewing and feel free to help me grow in other ways by giving me a like, a subscribe, and a bell notification. You know, if you are in the mood for some Twitch content, I also have that. You can find me on Twitch under Embers of August. Um, the link is going to be in the description. And I appreciate you guys for coming by. Thank you so, so much.